rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, this is for my GCLEA family. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to reap the benefits of this month of Ramadan and to guide us to fasting its days and praying its nights in a manner that is pleasing to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, brothers and sisters, as you know, um, you have completed the first third of the month of Ramadan and how fast it went, subhanAllah. Um, like with any marathon, a lot of times a person starts out with, you know, enthusiasm, striving. Uh, he's off to the races. Uh, and then at some point he realizes that this is a, a long endeavor. This is not a sprint, but it is, in fact, a marathon. You have to conserve some energy. And what happens for many people is that they they get lethargic in these middle 10 days, if you will. No doubt the best 10 nights of Ramadan are still ahead of us. Uh, in those nights, we're going to be seeking Laylatul Qadr, inshallah. But at the same time, you can't slow down too much. You don't want to fall out of the race. And so this message is to encourage you to push yourself just a little bit harder as these middle 10 days come. Our Prophet والسلام, said, لِكُلِّ عَمَلٍ شِرَّةٍ وَلِكُلِّ شِرَّةٍ فَتْرَةٍ That for every uh, action, for every deed that you do, there's a time of enthusiasm. And then for all, every time of enthusiasm, there's a, a time where you feel lethargic and you, you, know, you feel like you need to fall back. It is at that point you have to push yourself just a little bit harder. So I want to remind you all to stay consistent. You've built up a, a consistency thus far. You've been reading the Quran. You've been making dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You've been praying tarawih. You've been staying on top of your daily prayers, praying them on time in a manner that is beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to keep that up. You can't let that fall down or fall back. Our Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said that the most beloved deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are those that are done most consistently, even if they are few. So push yourself to be consistent in what you're doing. At least keep your tongue wet with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like the man when he came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and he complained that, uh, or not complained, but he let the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa know that, that the sharia of Islam, that there's so much to do. What, just give me something comprehensive that I can hold on to. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said to him, la yazalu lisanuka ratban bi dhikrillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep your tongue moist with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As we fast and our mouths are dry, keep it moist with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you get in your car, don't listen to just anything on the radio. Say subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wa allahu akbar. Read the Quran. It is the tongue that is going to remind your heart. So when you say alhamdulillah, when you say astaghfirullah, those times that you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your tongue it will remind your heart be idnillah the point is to to keep that tongue wet and inshallah ta'ala with that being said in the future uh, correspondence uh, with you at GCLEA uh, I'm going to go over some of the adhkar that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa used to make on a daily basis I'll be going over them uh, with you we'll break them down into bite-sized chunks inshallah ta'ala so that you can digest it and you can look for those every four to five days, inshallah ta'ala, for the remainder of Ramadan. Wallahu a'lam, wassalamu alaikum, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.